Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and the new video. In this video, we're continuing the monitoring uh, series. So we spoke about uh, what is monitoring and uh, a lot of other things that the fundamentals. We checked out uh, the Site24x uh, platform, which uh, you can use. You can find the links in the description below to sign up and a pretty comprehensive tool, which we are playing around with to get some hands-on information. This video is specifically about server monitoring. So whether you're managing, let's say, a single server or an entire data center, effective monitoring is crucial. You're paying too much, for example, you are running into issues, you wouldn't know what to solve until you know what it is that you're trying to solve, until you have that visibility. So today I'll walk you everything you need to know from like challenges you might face to practical tips on setting up and maintaining a robust monitoring system. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to talk about are the challenges when it comes to server monitoring. Let's start by discussing that. And the reason I'm doing that is because when you talk about the solutions later on, it will help you understand it much more clearly. The number of challenges that I see people face is, no matter how complex, let's say, the infrastructure get, is the lack of visibility. So one of the main and biggest challenges is not having enough visibility into what is happening on your servers. It's like you're trying to fix a car engine blindfolded. Okay, you need to see actually what is going wrong to fix it. And that's what I mean because you you wouldn't know what's wrong until you see, you know, how the system is performing. The second challenge is alert fatigue. So if your monitoring system sends too many alerts, it becomes like um, you know, the boy the boy who cried wood. So you might start ignoring them, and that's pretty dangerous. Or let's say you're getting too many notifications on your phone. So, you know, it's, it's uh, not wrong to say that you would miss out on important notifications. It is what I'm trying to say. A similar one, let's say third challenge is servers generating a ton of data. So data overload and figuring out what is important and what is not can. It just, it just kind of look like, you know, feel like uh, you're finding needle in a haystack, you know. And last one being another one, I mean, there are many challenges, but another one I'd like to mention is that as your infrastructure grows, monitoring can become increasingly complex and it starts to feel like, uh, you know, um, you have, let's say a small garden and then you have like a big farm and now you need to scale up your tools and techniques with your needs. So a lot of challenges and major ones that are, I've seen people talk about are these, but if you know any, any other challenges that you'd like me to speak about, let me know in the comment section below. So what are the solution to these? challenges. The first one that I would recommend is centralized monitoring. Okay, so various tools that you can use, I will be using Site24x that provide the visibility that you need. You can think of Site24 as uh, Site24-7 as, um, you know, I was saying 24x, so it's actually Site24x-7. Uh, so you can think of it as a control tower that is, you know, you know, let's say when we are at the airport, you see so many flights that take off and come. How is that all managed? There was a control tower that manages all the flights. You keep an eye on everything. Solution number two that I would recommend is implement smart alerting strategies. So use thresholds and filters to ensure that you only get alert when it matters. You know, we were talking about the notifications overload. Right? And um, a good example for this can be I cook. I live in London by myself, so I cook. And when I'm making something with ghee or like I'm, I have a burnt toast, for example, my smoke alarms don't go off. My smoke alarms will only go off if they're like a harmful gas. So it filters out, knows, you know, when to ring the alarm and when not to ring the alarm. That's another thing I wanted to mention. And you can also use data aggregation and analysis tools. These will help you sift through the noise and find actionable insights. Uh, much like you know, when you use a search engine to find specific information on the internet like Google or uh, Bing or whatever. And we spoke about the challenge of scalability. You know, that was an issue. So you should choose uh, scalable monitoring solutions that grow with your infrastructure and which is why we're mentioning Site24x7 in this video. And this offers basically like flexibility that is needed to expand uh, you know, seamlessly and uh, without needing to rebuild your entire structure. So these are some of the tips that I would like to give, but obviously we'll see it more in the hands-on in the 
Now let me do the demo in this video as well. Okay, so in the practical tips, uh, I'll do the you know, demo as well. Um, how do you set up server monitoring? What are some of the key things you have to keep in mind? First and foremost, I would say write down and identify the key metrics that you need to monitor. Typically people do CPU usage, memory usage, disk space, network activity. These will show you the vital signs for your servers. Step number two, choose your tools based on your needs. There are plenty of tools out there where we're going to be using Site22x7 and uh, why we're using it, you can check out the previous videos that I did in which I explained it in detail, right? Cool. And uh, similarly, just install and configure your tools. Uh, most tools provide detailed documentation. The one we're using is also having pretty good documentation. And uh, next up will be setting up alerts, the so configured alerts based on like thresholds that make sense for your environment. I would say avoid setting thresholds that are too low or too high and you only want to be alerted to actual issues, not any false alarms. Just lastly, set up the dashboards and like regular reports to visualize the data. Um, one good practice for like dashboards, like a good dashboard actually provides an at a glance view of your server's health. Um, you know, like you have a particular example for this. Like you have a car dashboard that gives you like the speed, the fuel and the engine status, all that. Okay. So yeah, let's take a look at a demo and see how it works. Right, so this is the site 24x 7s uh, dashboard this is what it looks like. You can go to the server section. I've checked the previous things uh, already. And here you can check out all the things. So you can check out your total servers when it was updated last. Uh, you can update the agents. You can set up the timeline like last 12 hours, last three hours, it's bold. You can get quick help over here. And here you can actually filter out according to the statuses. Two servers are down, five are critical, four are in trouble, one server is up. So you can check this one. Let's say, for example, this test server is down and you can check it out. You know, um, what's the network uh, information, so network interface details, uh, the status. Let's say this one, this one is down over here. You can perform some actions. You can check out processes. These look good. CPU, memory, disk and uh, network uh, plugins and all the checks and the logs and everything can be found over here right um that's what i meant uh this is uh, like uh, the example that i gave of a car you can see that this is the overall dashboard and you're getting to see which ones you have to actually worry about some alarms are going on over here as well and uh, you can check out the health dashboard which gives you the overall current status of the health. These are the number of uh, ones that are down, the ones that are suspended, top servers by memory, by CPU. So it's like uh, giving you nice little charts as well. And uh, you can check out the inventory dashboard where you can check out uh, your all the servers that you have and all the resources that are being used, as you can see over here. So this lists the total number of services, processes, and resource checks and applications that are associated with your account. Here you can see all of the things that it is monitoring. That's pretty cool, I would say. And uh, this is essentially what I wanted to show you, um, which is you can see hmm, the status of all your servers in one place, but you, then you can dive deeper into it as well. I'm gonna talk about this one. This is having a little bit of a trouble and this much CPU percentage it is utilizing, a lot of memory it's utilizing. And you can check it out, like, you know, what's uh, what's wrong? The other thing is that with the analysis, it's also giving you the root cause for it. So the volume exceeds 10 bytes um, via this controller. And uh, yeah, it's giving you more around the hardware details, the device details, the IP server, and everything. So that's what I wanted to show you. And here, if you have any outages, you will be able to see that. The log reports, as you can see, whatever happens, uh, you'll be able to see that because you need to get that history and you can download it as CSV as well. So it's pretty important to, and as you can see that, uh, you know, you can filter it as well. You can add in tags and monitor via groups. Uh, you can do a bunch of things over here, as you can see. And uh, yeah. That's basically what I wanted to show you for the server uh, page of Site24X. 
but as you can see it gives a lot of detail like do not get lead tags you can add and uh, yeah essentially this is what your main concern should be ideally um, you know an overall picture but also getting relevant alerts and uh, pretty easy to set up check out site 24 x 7 you can find the links in the description below but all the challenges and best practices that you mentioned you can see right now over here this basically solves it you can check out the tools that are you know you can open it in a new dashboard and you can see the server that is up and running so no outages 100 percent availability and everything works fine okay they also have a zi bot uh, which is the ai powered chatbot that can answer the questions around you know um, your uh, monitoring needs so make sure you check that out but yeah that's uh, essentially what i wanted to show you overall you can see a lot of filters available and uh, yeah just a lot of visibility and all the challenges that you mentioned this is a very good example of a tool that solves it so that's essentially a walkthrough of what it should look like pretty easy to set up we've covered it in previous videos um but you can check out the links in the description below for the documentation as well now what are some of the effective tips for uh, server monitoring i would say regularly review and update your configurations because you know your car needs regular maintenance as well so your monitoring setup needs regular reviews and updates automate wherever possible and the i24 x7 tool can help you in that so this reduces the chances for human errors perform regular testing so regularly test your alerts and monitoring setup to ensure that everything is functioning correctly and some of the mistakes to avoid ignoring alerts so never ignore alerts if you receive too many adjust your threshold rather than ignoring your alerts second one i would like to mention is do not over complicate the setup i would say when you're first starting out let's say should you do it gradually or should you just do it at once i would say do it gradually and add more complexity as needed over complicating things can lead to more problems lastly i would just like to mention do not neglect security ensure that the tools that you are using and the data is secure and uh, treat the, treat those basically as the same level of security as your servers and site 24x uh, 7 has pretty some pretty some pretty amazing security features so make sure you check out the links in the description below and it's also free, free free for you to get started so yeah check it out that was essentially what i wanted to share with you and i hope you found it useful and uh, lastly i would just like to end it with uh, that you should remember that effective server monitoring is not just about tools and metrics okay even the tools are helping us but it's not just about that people have access to these tools but they still get it wrong it's about creating a system that provides meaningful insights and helps you maintain a healthy efficient infrastructure thanks a lot for watching happy monitoring and uh, i hope the tips i shared the challenges the mistakes to avoid and the best practices and the steps to set it up and the little demo that we did was helpful but again it's dependent on your use case so it's going to be different for everyone but you can check out site 24 x 7 tool things can be found in the description below to make life a little bit more easier thanks a lot for watching i will see you in the next video